is another video for the Aussie Rocks Projects website. Today we're going to be talking about the 74HC 574N and that is an Octal D type flip flap. Now, uh, I did a video about uh, an analog multiplexer which uh, increased your microcontroller's number of uh, analog inputs. So what this does you can use this to increase the number of digital inputs that you have. Now, what happens here is uh, you have eight uh, inputs along this side. You set those whatever way you want. Uh, you activate the chip, and that whatever uh, inputs you had high or low on this side will be high or low on this side. Now, what that means is you can connect the inputs of two of these chips as I've done here. You see this green wire is going from ground to input one on this chip to input one on this chip. So I can set this low here. I can trigger this chip which will save this chip's output as low for pin one. Uh, I can then switch this input here to high and trigger the input for this chip which will switch this chip's input 1 to high. So now uh, input 1 here is, is 0 and input 1 here is 1. So basically you have doubled the amount of inputs or outputs from this pin from your actual microcontroller. Now, the way I have it set up uh, I'm only using one pin so it's not great but if you imagine you had a whole register here, eight, eight outputs and then you would need two um, two control pins so that would mean using 18 pins no sorry, using 10 pins you would have 18 outputs so, no that's not right, 18 outputs, you'd have 16 outputs, sorry 10 pins, 16 outputs. So you have 6 more um, outputs than you normally would have had with your chip. But you don't have to just use 2. You could you could add a third one, then using another output, you'd have 8 more outputs. And it continue to expand like that. It'd be a, kind of a, a bus between them. A bus between each of these chips. So you could uh, have as many outputs as uh, you had pins available for the control pins of these individual chips. So, uh, the way I have it set up here, as I was saying, the green wire is the inputs for the two chips. Now, I have the output from the first chip coming along here on the white wire, which will light this top LED. The second uh, chip the outputs coming on the orange LED or orange wire which are like this bottom LED and I have the it's the clock input from the first chip is along this blue wire the clock input from the second chip is along this white wire now uh, there's also an an enable pin and that the, the pin is active when this enable pin is low so I have this enable pin, it's here, it's, it's pin number one. I have a tight ground here, a tight ground here. So I have it set up so the two, uh, the two flip flops are constantly uh, enabled. Then with the clock input to, uh, to activate the chip, you have to go from low to high with the clock input. So let's try that. I'll, I'll move our be our output from our microcontroller, which is this green wire, we'll, we'll give it a high, a, a 1, and now we we'll enable enable the first chip by going uh, from low to high, which will which will light this top LED. So we we'll go low to high. Now, uh, although our input is at high here, we haven't affected this chip here. So now I'll leave it at high and I'll enable the second chip using this wire to clock input, low to high 
and there we go the second LED is lit and again we'll change our microcontroller back to a zero put the, this input pin back to zero we'll enable the first chip turn off the top LED low to high back to low and we'll enable the second chip low to high back to low so as you can see uh, with these chips you can expand the number of outputs that you might need uh, by a huge number a small microchip like this PIC16F627 uh, that I have on the Ozirox projects board here it is only uh, two 8-bit registers and you might have some of them used for the clock or the reset switch so you might not have as many outputs as you'd like so with this method you could very easily expand your number of outputs rather quickly um, I think that's all there is uh, to cover with the uh, 74HC574 so if you have any questions either post them on the video or post them on the forum and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, thanks for watching.